Hello, yes, Mr. Nicholas. Everything is in order. You're on flight 649 from Municipal Airport. Your ticket is at the reservation desk there. Departure time is 10.30 o'clock. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Flying the northern route around this low pressure area, at 16,000 feet, it'll be nice and smooth. And you'll have a 56 mile an hour tailwind, which will take you across in a hurry. Good deal. You figured the time yet? Here she is. Figures eight hours plus 30 minutes. <laughs> we'll have to slow up. You're coming on schedule. <laughs> I'll find it for us, honey. You run out to the airplane and check the equipment. They should be loading the dining service by now. Will do. boxes and bags. Your name, please. United Flight 649 for Honolulu and connections to the Orient. Now loading at gate 7. All aboard, please. Ticket and baggage check, Mr. Marker. The flight is loading at gate seven. Thank you. Los Angeles Tower, this flight 649, ready for taxi instructions. Over. Before I take off to move to the rear compartment, I have a friend there. I think we can manage that if we hurry. Thanks. Here you are, sir. I'll take your hat and coat. What do you mean? Big business, Cynthia. Very big business. Besides, uh, being a very lovely woman, you're a very fortunate one. Go on. I happen to be fortunate, too, because I am the only one who knows you murdered your husband.
unfortunately, Cynthia, I was there. And my word is better than yours because I didn't hate George. I merely tolerated him so that I could be close to you. I can't listen anymore. Think back, Cynthia. Think back five days and nights. The three of us were there. and watched because I knew how dangerous George could be and I wanted to protect you. After it happened, I left and waited. Waited for what? The insurance company's decision to pay off. But they haven't. They were. And then... What? I want half of it. I thought George Strong was rotten. He was. <laughs> if it pleases you to think it, so am I. But that's of little consequence. I've made you a proposition that has but one answer. I'll give you until one hour after we reach Honolulu to accept it. If you don't... Your dinner? No, thank you. delicious. <laughs> it's amazing what they can do on these planes. What a nuisance. Excuse me. sitting next to me. What about him? He's been threatening me. What can I do to help? Pretend that you know me. to meet Mr. Nicholas. He's an old friend of mine. I haven't seen him for a long time. And here he was sitting right opposite us. It's a small world, isn't it? Yes, it is very tight. Mr. Nicholas. That's right. Strange how old friends meet, isn't it? An old friend, Mr. Nicholas. Yes, Alan. You can't imagine how glad I am to see him. Oh, uh, this is Alan Marker. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Marker. Enjoying the flight? I was. Pardon my mentioning it, but for old friends, you seem to have very little to say. The most enduring kind of friendship is the strong, silent type. Traveling on business? Yes, my own. What's your line? Oh, any number of things. Right now, I'm busily engaged in the process of thinking. 
thinking. Yes, thinking how perfectly obvious it is you've never met before. Can you prove that? Yes. What was her maiden name? Well, I never bothered to find out. You know, when she was little, I used to call her Snooks. Now that she's grown up, I just call her Spook. At least you know the answers better than you do the girl. A stewardess? Yes, sir. I feel the need of a drink. Is that possible? Certainly, sir. What would you like to have? Cynthia? Nothing for me. I'll have a Manhattan, please. I'd like a brandy. Napoleon brandy. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't have Napoleon brandy. Would you care for something else? I never drink anything else. Very well, sir. Let's do something to pass the time. How about some gin rummy? Make it poker and I'll join you. After all, we are old friends, aren't we? Perhaps you can use Mr. Nicholas' briefcase as a paper. Works fine. Now, what's the limit? Or perhaps that's a superfluous question. I think we're all playing for the same stakes. Cynthia? This United Flight 649, 10 miles east of the field. Landing instructions, please. Flight 649, you're cleared into traffic. Landing on runway 8, over. Roger. We're coming into Honolulu, sir. Will you please fasten your seatbelt? Very pleasant game. <laughs> now that it's over, I can tell you I could have won a lot more. How? Oh. I still have an ace up my sleeve. Uh, where are you staying in Honolulu? I haven't decided. Oh, and you, Cynthia? Same place. United Flight 648, ready to taxi. What's delaying this flight? Breaking on two late passengers, 648. Roger, Tower. This is the last call for Flight 648, leaving for San Francisco, now loading at gate two. This is the last call. All aboard, please.
boy. I went to considerable trouble to take it away from you. How low can you get? Blackmail is bad enough, but a common thief. I so far have taken nothing from his case, except this gun. Did you say blackmail? That's what he's following me for. Now, like a fool, I let you bring me right back to him. For the moment, Cynthia, I've lost interest in you. Uh, financially, that is. Um, did she by chance tell you what inspired me to uh, forgive the word blackmail her? No. Uh -huh. And I'll bet he didn't tell you what's in this briefcase either, did he? No. <laughs> there should never be secrets between old friends like you. very fortunate that it's in my hands for safekeeping. Because you see, my dear, I found out that the briefcase belongs to a Mr. Nicholas Lawrence. Now, if Mr. Henry Nicholas takes it from me, why? Naturally, I'd be forced to have the captain radio ahead to the San Francisco police. Because you see, my dear, your friend Henry stole it. Francisco Tar, this United Flight 648, 15 miles west of the field. Landing instructions, please. Flight 648, clear to enter traffic. Landing runway 2 and over. Thank you, Tower. Look, Marker, I'll make a deal with you. Name it. 50-50. On that basis, I'll still have to collect from dear Cynthia to make up the deficit. Yes. Agreed. We'll arrange the details on the ground. The Golden Gate. <laughs> they must have named that bridge for me. Would you all kindly remain in your seats until the agricultural inspector comes through? He just wants to make sure you aren't carrying any forbidden flowers or fruits onto the mainland. Thank you. Are you bringing in any flowers, fruits, seeds, or anything like that? No, sir, we aren't. Thank you. You can get off the plane now. Are you bringing in any fruit, flowers, seeds, or anything like that? No, I'm not. Thank you. you Thank you. You can get off the plane now. Do you have any fruit, flowers, seeds, or anything like that? No, no fruits, flowers, seeds. Just a moment. I was told that you're bringing in a species of Vandasaurelia. Now, I'm awfully sorry, mister, but we have strict orders against allowing any Vandasaurelia into the States. I wouldn't know a... What did you call that? Vandasaurelia? Uh, I wouldn't know one of those if it bit me. Did that... Black-haired foreign fella tell you I was carrying one of those things in? Well, yes, he did. Uh, well, I, I, that was just a joke, officer. He's a very old friend of ours. Isn't he, dear? Uh, yes, very old. It was just a joke, officer, believe me. Uh, may we go now? I'm sorry to detain you, but I'll have to look through your bags. Bags? Well, we don't have any bags. No bags? Nobody ever flies this run without no bags. Just keep your seats a moment, please, while I let the rest of the passengers off. Are uh, you bringing in any flowers, fruit, seeds? 